My fascination with Richard III came from, I read a biography by Paul Murray Kendall on Richard. And it was just an amazing book because it was a 180 from everything that we know about Richard's from Shakespeare and the Tudor writers. So that absolutely intrigued me and I wanted to find out more because at the time I was working as a screenwriter and I felt how how does this, this one man exist in sort of these two parallel universes? How can he be so incredibly bad and yet the good Lord on the other side? When I was at university, I was taught by one of the leading experts on Richard III, Professor Charles Ross, and that's when my interest really deepened. How did it feel when I, I found that spot in the car park? It's difficult to explain, really. Um, it was a, quite a powerful experience, and I think the only way I can say is that I absolutely knew I was walking on his grave. It made me then want to start new research, because I'd been looking at Richard's life, and now I wanted to focus on Richard's death. The discovery of Richard III's remains makes the story much more tangible. We can see him, we can face the real man again, and in two respects, his story becomes much more alive. The scoliosis that he had to deal with and also the courage he showed on the battlefield and the terrible wounds that he suffered trying to kill his opponent. I think what readers will discover in the book um, from the sections that I've been writing is the, it's the untold story of the first ever search for the grave of an anointed king. They'll get to meet the team who were involved in the project and everything that happened on a daily basis, almost like a minute by minute account. I think they'll get to live the roller coaster that, that we were all living. And, um, you know, as a screenwriter, if I'd put this into a screenplay, I think it might have been kicked back for a lot of it for not being realistic enough, but it really did happen as it's told in the book. And I think I wanted to put the record straight as well because there's been an awful lot written about the discovery and about the project, about the dig. And I wanted to tell people how it was, how it really happened, how it got underway. This book will give readers a deeper and I think much more interesting view of the dig, far fuller view than the TV program could show. And on the history side, the book will bring out, I think, a more rounded picture of the man with some very exciting new archival discoveries thrown in to boot.